Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the show. Now that the NBA season's underway, sports fans have another team that they could get emotionally distressed over or very excited for. As for me, I'm feeling pretty good to the start. How about you, Tony? You know, I am feeling pretty good to the start this season. Can't complain too much. You know, it's, it, it's a lot going on this year. First, a lot of trades. How about that James Harden trade? I'm saying James Honeybun Harden is officially <laughs> on the Clippers now. What can I, I say? He's Look, he's in shape. Sort of. Surprisingly, he's in shape. Sort you of. Know, we, we, we should see. What you think? Like, how do you think this season going to go for the Clippers? I don't know. I mean, you know, Honey Bun Harden can always gain it back. And this Absolutely. guy will go from scoring 40 points to five points. So Too many on, smoothies on the bench. Too many. Exactly. Man. He's eating too much. But too much. I think that trade, honestly, is going to turn out for the worst for the Clippers. They gave up mm. a lot of depth to go get Harden. And we know Harden's a real diva. This guy <laughs> is just... Uh, cancer to the team mostly. I mean, he says he's the system. He's not a system player. I don't think that system works any in the world. Maybe with aliens, but not here. Hell no. But I think easily that trade is not going to really work out. Maybe a trade that will work out, though. Let me bring this up. The Damian Lillard trade. Mm. Possibly. I mean, mm. it's not looking the best. But it's not. It's not at all. It's not at because the one game he did drop eight points. It's just like, and that was right after his opener with like 38. I'm saying, so. The depth, it's man. Be. It's the depth. They got no depth. Not certain teams like the Mavs. I mean, the Nuggets, the Celtics. All these teams are looking dominant. What about the Lakers? Uh, Lakers, what are the, about the, Lakers are the Steelers right. of the NBA. LeBron said himself. <laughs> They're not that good. They're going to blow it. I don't care if LeBron <laughs> or it's a healthy AD. You Get mean? out of here with that. Lakers cannot beat the Nuggets. Nuggets own the Lakers. Come on now. Mike Malone, we'll daddy see. of the Lakers. We'll we know see. that. You know, LeBron is better to turn 39. All he's going to do is get even better. So I'm going to say. I don't LeBron, know, man. He, I he's mean, been going crazy this season. The, the West is a very competitive, very, very competitive very. conference. Like, More than I the East. I don't doubt you on that. That's definitely the one of the most competitive we've ever seen with the Mavs looking exceptionally well. Luka's looking fantastic. I mean, Nikola Jokic is about to go for another, another MVP. Yes, like, yes. Let's be real. Yes. This dude already got like three triple doubles, seven games in. That's ridiculous. Mm. And then you got another team like the Minnesota Timberwolves, who are actually looking sneaky good. I mean, trade Rudy Gobert. Get that man off your team. You're looking way better. But another competitive nature, I mean, of the season, man. How are you feeling about the in-season tournament? Garbage. It, 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 it's really no point of having it for the sole purpose of what is there to get? A Quidditch Cup? Like, why am I winning a, a Quidditch Cup? Like, what's the point? I like, mean, it's, no, it's no point to the in-season tournament but to have injuries. I was, People going to go hard, nice courts, nice jerseys yeah, yeah. for what? Money? Oh, that's, the, that's the incentive. It's all money. I mean, you can hold up a cup. You hold up a trophy, you know, midseason. Make and that's that like regular the, season competitive. So the Magic win the, the cup, what are they? They're the best half-season half season team? Tournament. They're the best in-season tournament. They'll be the best regular season team. I mean, I'm excited. <laughs> it looks competitive, man. I mean, uh, It's pointless. It's pointless. It's, We'll, we'll see. I think if the players really take competitive, it'll make the regular season really something to be excited about. I mean, they get Indiana game, 141 points in the first ever in-season in tournament game, bro. But I feel as though that means there's no defense. It's, there's it's no defense. It's definitely less defense, but sometimes it's just better offense. That's Ty true. But Tyrese then... dropped like 38 that game or like 35. <laughs> but is it going to be consistent enough to do that, though? Or is it just only for Tuesdays and know. Fridays is he going to be? He's going to wake up. He's he gonna wake he, up on a Tuesday. He's gonna wake up on a Friday. and He's gonna drop forty points. He might just wake up on Tuesday and Friday. That's well, what I'm well, saying. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I'm I'm excited, man. It's it's gonna bring some competitive nature to the NBA. A lot of people have been complaining about it, but like when you got people know. like James Harden, like a diva, maybe he'll complain about the end season. We never know, uh, man. It's something. I mean, what I mean, about Ben Simmons might even go crazy. I'm saying Ben Simmons might even drop fifty points in the end season. Is he gonna be good in the rec doing when it actually matters in the playoffs? I if mean, his team make it, no. I don't know. Ben Simmons even being brought up in 2023 is a wild statement to me. What do you think about end of season? End of season, who I think... Because it's early, but I think we can okay, make some... Okay, okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I feel like when it comes to the Western Conference, you might hate me. You got to say the Lakers, aren't you? <laughs> you got to. You got to go with the Lakers. I Who's can, gonna, man. I can't put my money against LeBron. Fair, but I can because the Mavs and Nuggets, they're looking like they'll put their entire paychecks against the we'll Lakers see. right now. What about we'll the see. East? What about the East? The East, it's like it's like, it's like a runaway train. It's the, it's, it's, it's the Celtics. It's like yeah. the Sixers are absolutely garbage. They're not going to make it out, out the second round. Yeah. They might not even make it out the first round. So, I like, mean, 
I would agree. It's really with you. no point. Those those Celtics look dominant, man, and the Bucks. They're both looking good. But <laughs> that's all we got for our NBA segment. Let's send it off to the next segment.